is areas of shaded regions using mostly subtraction. Any questions on number one? So I think we talked about how you could do two different things on this one. So one option is to draw in a little Potham triangle to figure out the radius of the circle. You have the side, so of the triangle. So let me back up. You have the side of the regular triangle. So you can do S squared root three over four, but to do the area of the circle, you have to know the radius. So if you draw in a little Potham triangle, then you can use the 30, 60, 90, figure out the radius. The other option was, um, you can always cut a uh, equilateral triangle using an altitude and then use this 30, 60, 90 instead. But if you do it that way, you're gonna get three root three for this. And you have to realize that would be um, a root three and a two root three. So for this one, I probably think that's easier than doing the, the big altitude. Questions on number two? Hold on. Uh, the leg is, the short leg is root three. Do you have that? The short leg is root three. So then double it's two root three. The, the long leg is three, not six. Okay. The long leg is three divided by root three. So that's root three and then two root three. And again, be careful when you're, you're squaring two root three that you get that two squared. Okay. And again, on this one, a couple of different ways you can do that. I used one 45, 45, 90 triangle with hypotenuse being six. That makes the legs, which are the radii, uh, radius of the circle, three root two. And then subtract the circle minus the square. If you prefer, to draw in the uh, diagonal of the square. You can draw in the diagonal. And then this will be six, six, six root two. And then cut that in half to get three root two. If you wanna use this triangle instead, that's a square. So we know that and we know square is gonna have 45, 45, 90 there. Questions on number three. Okay, please ask if you have questions. I'm happy to slow down and go through it in more detail, but I don't want to waste time if you understand it since we talked about talked through this already the other day. Okay, again, you have an equilateral triangle. So if you want to cut in, into a um, 30, 60, 90 here, you've got uh, the segment AB. No, you probably don't want to do that. Um, use this little triangle, AB is the uh, radius of the triangle. So if you draw on the apothem triangle, that 30, 60, 90 makes, this is the short leg. So it's half of 10 and then multiply by root three. So five root three and then the whole thing is 10 root three. I did one half apothem perimeter, but remember there's lots of ways to do that. You can do, you can do a uh, base times height divided by two. This would be 10, so the height's 15. Or you can do um, area of that triangle times six, or the area of this triangle times two. Okay. Questions on number four. Clarifications, confusions, issues. Alana. Um, the S square root three over four or the one half base height? What do you mean by? Okay, when you say regular in geometry, that's a little tricky. <laughs> um, are you doing this triangle's area or the big triangle's area? Okay, so if I draw in that triangle, area would be one half. The base of that triangle is five root three. The height would be 15. So because this is an apothem and it's five and that's a radius, Okay, it's going to be 10. So then the whole height's 15. And then you have to multiply that by two because I'm just doing this triangle. Or you can say if the whole um, 
like if you just know that five root three is half the base, like when you think one half base height, if you're doing the whole entire triangle, you can say, well, half of the base, half of the base is five root three multiplied by the height is 75 root three. So you got to pay attention to whether you're doing that pink triangle or whether you're doing the actual um, original big triangle. Okay, this one. So you've got, again, you're allowed to assume that that's a regular triangle. And so the, the regular triangle has a side length of 20. So hopefully this part was, was easy. You're gonna subtract the triangle minus these three white areas. Because this is an equilateral triangle, that's 60, 60, and 60. Okay, what's 60 times three? 180. So if you cut these apart and put them all together, that would be a semicircle. So if you just do the area of a circle with a radius of 10 and then take half of it, that'll be the semicircle. Okay, because we're doing 60 times three would give us 180. So basically just kind of think, take those white areas and rearrange them. And you would be looking at a semicircle that's been cut into, these are called sectors. We're actually gonna talk about sectors today. So it would be cut into three sectors like that, making a semicircle. Questions on that one? Does that make sense what I said to do the triangle minus the semicircle? Is that okay? Hey, Elliot's with me. Nobody else answered, so fine, be that way. Okay. Uh, number six, what did you decide to do with number six? Did I figure out what strategy you use? You know? Okay. Okay. Philip, what were you going to say? Same thing. Okay. What did you get, Anna? Awesome. Okay. So this is kind of a trick thing here. Um, the problem with putting these two together to make a full circle is what? They overlap, right? So if you try to do the area of a full circle with a radius of three, you're going to have a problem because that little shape right there is being counted twice. So again, this is a kind of a trick way to do it in a sense, but if you cut this up with, a, a, you know, into fourths, that's easy now. That's a fourth of the big square. This is the fourth of the big square. And then over here, the shaded area. So let's see, I actually added, where right? I added the shaded area. So I did um, the, let's see. Yeah, three by three. I found this area was nine. And then I added that to these areas. So each one of those areas, this is what Anna said. She said she found the white area here is a quarter of a circle. And she did nine minus the white quarter of the circle to get the shaded. Okay, a quarter of a circle is nine pi over four, or uh, what'd you say that was? Um, 2.25, right? Pi. So if you wanna put it in decimal form, that's fine. You could also kind of think of this like, no, I probably would sort of do it that way. Just don't forget, you're going to have to double that area here because when you do um, 9 minus 2.25 pi, that finds this area, that blue area, but you have to double that to make sure you account for this area as well and then add on the 9 from the other little square.
Okay, questions on that? Do you need me to go over that in more detail or Sabrina? Uh, wait, what? Seven? Oh, 27. Okay, so nine is the area of this square. And then 18 minus 9 pi over 2 is the area of these parts here. Okay, so 27 came from the square. So if you see the square here was 9, that's this. And then the area that shaded was a square minus the white part. So this is the area of just that. It's, this is a three by three, right? Is that what you're getting stuck on? This is a three by three, not a six by six. The whole entire thing is 36, yes. If you wanted to do 36 minus the um, white part, so you could find the area of um, the white parts here, it'd just be kind of like the opposite of what I'm doing, but you could find the area of this and this and add those together and then add that and then subtract that whole thing from 36. That would be kind of a similar way. So you basically have to be doing subtracting and adding, making sure you're combining the right things together. But yeah, you could take the whole six by six and subtract off the white part if you want to figure out how to do that. 